we need to speak. I know what you did on extermination day. We can talk about it inside or I can yell about it out here. Fucking right you open that door. Hello? You have two minutes to convince me not to silence you for good. Miss Carmine, I'm here on appointment from the princess to enlist your aid in the defense of hell from the angelic extermination. We know an angel fell at your hands and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? The princess of hell it means nothing to me. You have to do better than that. 90 seconds. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand by while- Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Well, then why? Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now, I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. You think we asked for this? All Charlie has ever done is try to make things better, to help her people who newsflash include your people too. And how exactly has that worked out for her? 45 seconds. We didn't pick the fight, but it's here now, and they aren't gonna stop with us. You didn't see the look on their leader's face. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they come for the rest of you. They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out, so you can help us make a stand here together, or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. <laughs> Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. <laughs> What is this? You want me to teach you how to beat angels? That's what I'm doing. By beating the shit out of me? I'm not used to fighting with long hair. By showing you the flaws in your own fighting style. Yours and all your sisters. Wait, you know I'm an exorcist? How? You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. Before you found out about me, did you know angels could be harmed? No. <laughs> that shows in how you fight. You leave yourself open with every swing. You fight like someone unafraid of harm. And this is what you'll take advantage of. Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. Strike them here, here, and here. With what? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? It's that simple? How has no one else figured this out? Angelic steel isn't common, and those who have it aren't exactly rushing off to test it against exorcists. But my daughters and I were cornered in that last extermination. I tried to buy time for my girls to flee, and well, you don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. I see you're driven by your detestation Your every step is stuck with animus You need a different type of motivation Or there's no way that you can handle this I know you're thirsting for vengeance, Baggy, you're out for blood But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love Out for love You're out for blood, but you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love, 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 love. Think of who you care about. Protect them and be out for love, love, love. You're gonna fight without gloves, and when that push comes to shine, yeah, you just might rise above long as you're out for love. Well, look at that. You might just survive this. We're gonna need more weapons.